you are asking to get ripped off. It's, it's why Wednesday here on this Wednesday, November 13th, 2024. Nick Verzellini, Colin Glackle now joined on the show by Wyatt Pelicano, Shepard Rams offensive lineman. Wyatt, how's it going? It's uh, absolutely amazing. <clears throat> like you mentioned, it's Wyatt Wednesday, the last, the last but not least Wyatt Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, excited to be here and excited uh, excited to, to get this rolling, you know. Wyatt, it's the... Uh Final game for you guys this week, obviously. Not what you guys wanted last week, but going on the road against East Stroudsburg, a team that's made a lot of strides over the last few years. Just kind of what you take away from that game? Uh, yeah, there. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of history there. There, we talk about it on here all the time. Those teams are teams are definitely going to um, give up their best. That one in specific, I think they uh, they definitely have no love or respect towards us the last couple of years. We've kind of beat up on them, so I think uh, they came into the game with a, with a fire, ready to go. Not to mention, you know, the, uh, we talked about it last week. They were number ranked uh, team in the region going in, one of the best ranked offenses in the PSAC. I think maybe the best. Uh, so they're an impressive program. Uh, they have a very successful coach. It's a it's a winning program. Um, so yeah, they they it just didn't go our way. Uh, they went in there and were able to. to operate with success on a lot of levels, which made it difficult for us to, to do what we came in to do. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's that's why we play the game, you know, wins and losses. If you want them all, then it wouldn't be playing. It would just be winning. What's been the, uh, I guess, mindset here for the final week of the season within the team right now? Um, we're at a, we're at a crossroads, I think, as a, as a, um, definitely as a team, you know, or, I mean, it's the last crossroads as a team for Team 95 specifically. But uh, it's definitely uh, it's a it's a point of emphasis for for the program as a whole. Like, obviously, it's not make or break whether you lose this game, but it, it says a lot about uh, about who you are as a program, about the culture of a program, and uh, what what your pretty much what I said the culture of the program. You know, the fighting spirit. Um, it shows who you are. If you can go out there and, and, and on a win, which again is one of our preseason goals, which is the last one that we still are, it's, it's in our control. So um, if you can go out there and fight fight to the last man and, and try to get the job done and, and put it all on the line and walk away with a win, <clears throat> not only will it feel extremely good to the dudes like me, the seniors, and, and everybody else that has to, it gives hope to come back to next year, um, but it's also, I mean, it just like I said, it, it shows who you are. It shows that you're. It shows that you're not dead. You're just wounded, and that you're you're ready to get back up and bounce back for our next season and, and get to work to to solve the problems that we that we saw this year on the field. You know, so it's 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 a it's a huge game in that sense, and I think that's the energy. I think everybody knows that. Not to mention, you know, like uh, Coach Cook did uh, made a very huge point of emphasis to everybody in the room of trying to win for, for the seniors, for the guys like me and Bednarski and James Bell and Curtis Jefferson and Naeem Alexander and all, all of those guys, if I'm missing any, that are JT, you know, all, all the cats that, that are going to play their last football game uh, on Saturday to, to let us go out with a win. And I, and I think that that really clicked with them too. So hopefully it's a – I think I, we had practice yesterday. It felt like a good practice. So hopefully it's an energized effort um, heading, up, heading up to Seton Hill. And in some ways, Wyatt, obviously, I'm sure you would have hoped for, you know, playoffs and a few other things. But I guess a positive in some ways is that you know that this is the last one, which a lot of the times you maybe don't know when your last game is going to be uh, unless you were to make a championship. So I guess yeah. what's it, what's it like yeah. heading into this week knowing yeah, that this is the I'll, last Yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's a huge point. And, um, not to mention, I mean, this is the first time in my Shepherd career that I've had that luxury, if it is a luxury. Um, but th- this is the first time that we that I, I've had that. And I think I think in that sense it is a luxury. But obviously, like you said, it's hard to call it a luxury when you know the alternative is postseason play, which involves hardware, championships, um, and really a lot of big games, which is what we, we that's what gets that's what gets everybody excited. Um, but but there is there is a. There, there's some peace in knowing that, that you're in, you know what I mean, that you know the schedule ahead of time. There, there is some, some serenity in that. Um, but that said, I mean, yeah, and 
it's not what I wanted. It's not what I think anybody on the team wanted. I don't think it's what anybody in the community or that's probably listening to this radio wanted for the Shepherd University Rams for us to be here where we are right now. But as far as uh, for me, if I'm thinking selfishly about it, um, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely blessed. Fellas, I'm, I'm extremely fortunate. Uh, I played on some extremely successful teams with some amazing individuals over my time here. Uh, I was able to go to the Final Four twice. I had two rings, um, which is more than most. I, one ring is more than most people get in their life. So the fact that I was able to go back to back with this program um, and, and get my hands on two of those things is is in itself like. For me to for me to ever complain about lack of success in my college football career would be hypocritical and, and childish. Um, so that said, I mean, what I what I really enjoyed uh, another deep run into the playoffs and, and being able to, to do that and lead this team to success, absolutely. But uh, it, it's a it's a point of emphasis on balance um, in, in my life and in everybody's. Life. I think that that's something that's present in everybody's life, and uh, you know, a lot of people will go and play college football and I mean right now we're 500 that's technically an average season here it's not and it's not what anybody wants it to become here you know the average season for the Shepherd Rams should be nine and three nine and four keeping keeping it what's much higher on the winning percentage but still for the average person that walks around on this planet this is this is what it looks like so um for me to complain about having to to walk the walk that most people do in life uh, is again it feels it feels hypocritical and childish this is this is uh something that it's important to experience it's it's important to know because when you don't realize how hard it is to win games until you start to lose them you know so and uh, i hope that it shows um the the young guys that are coming back i hope that it teaches that lesson to them for the ones that maybe weren't here for for the times of old that involved rings but were here on the back end last year and saw what winning games look like um or even the first part of this year and going into the camp what the mindset was hopefully they understand that this is what it feels like to be on the other end of hard work if you're not if you're not doing what needs to be done and not preparing like a champion before you're a champion this is a possibility of of how you can end up and um you know, it's not on any one dude, so I don't, I don't carry it. I don't carry it. Uh, I don't wear it on my shoulders like, like I think a lot of people would expect me to. Um, I'm, I'm content with the fact that I feel like I've done and will continue to do for this last week everything in my power, everything in my being, and, and give every last, last ounce of my soul to this game and to this team um, to try to to try to find success and. I, there, there's peace in that, and for me personally, even with the the lack of results. So again, I think it, I think it teach it teaches a multitude of lessons to to everybody in the program and everybody around. Um, and, and honestly, sometimes I think that's what you need. I think that that could be um, the lack of success and following through on the goals that we had set preseason for ourselves. I hope that that will show uh, the rest of this team, the people that are coming back, and remind them of what the energy needs to be, how you need to behave, how you need to prepare, um, and the amount of dedication and blood, sweat, and tears that needs to go into this thing in order to to get that push that you need all the way through the regular season into the postseason and to find success uh, in in December, which is when which is when you want to be playing ball. So that's uh I guess that's really really my thoughts on it. Thank you, Wyatt. Unfortunately, we're short on time, so we got to cut it off there, but I think it's still a great spot to do so. So, Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Happy belated birthday, by the way, as well. Oh, yeah. Enjoyed Thank it you yesterday. Guys. Thank you, guys. So. Yeah, hey, shout out my pops. His birthday is today, too. There you so. go. Yeah. Happy birthday, Papa Pelicano. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wyatt, thank you for all the time. Oh, dude, yeah, thank you guys, man. It's been it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, and to anybody listening, if you if you come on here and listen to me scream at you and then ramble on the phone for however long I do it, I appreciate you guys. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to to be here to wear the blue and gold and to, and to um, be a leader on this team and and, a, and all of the things that come with it. So, um, yeah, man, it's been awesome. Wyatt Pelicano, Shepard Rams offensive lineman, and uh, wish him the best of luck moving forward. 
and we'll see if the Rams can get it done on Saturday against Seton Hill. That is a noon kickoff. We'll go on the air at 11.30 a.m. 